Hello everybody, happy Sunday. We are headed real quick. I need to get these to a bathing suit. Everybody else is good. So hopefully we can find a nice, modest, one piece bathing suit to wear to the pools. But real quick, I, I had um, three things real quick to say um, before we jump into meal, pre meal prepping. And that is what I'm gonna do when I get back. So I will read you the list when I get back of everything that I'm gonna make. But um, first is, Charles and I have talked about it and we are not going to be showing videos of the kids in their bathing suits. And I just want you to know that it's just for their own good. I know I've posted briefly a couple little clips, but we are no longer gonna have any bathing suit pictures of them. Um, there is just too much going on with YouTube right now and child predators and things like that. So it's just for our own safety and what we're comfortable with. But there will still be plenty of other stuff to see, I promise. And um, then the second thing is, uh, you guys are always asking me about the music that I play. And I get it from Epidemic Sound. And I don't know if that is something you guys can access and can watch or listen for free. Or if it's something that you have to pay for like I do um, because it's made for YouTube. So if you want me to make like a playlist, a video that's just a playlist of some of the music, just let me know down below and I will gladly make a video and then you can go and just listen to it and it'll just be a playlist. Um, and then third is I just wanted to let you guys know. So I have this um, skin condition and I've always covered it up with... Um, Sorry, I'm gonna have to start my car. I've always covered it up with self-tanner, but I am not doing that anymore because is one, it's just too expensive and two, you know, it's just who I am. So you will see here white spots. I have just white spots that aren't really that evident. They're on my hands too. They're not really that evident until summer hits and then they're very evident. So. I just wanted to make you aware of that because you will see them pop up more and more and get more and more visible as I'm doing a lot of cooking videos and you're seeing my hands that is what that is and I'm not gonna cover them up anymore so um, I just wanted to share that with you and when I get back I'm gonna share with you guys the menu that I'm making or the foods that I'm gonna make for the meal plan sorry I'm out of it because this is just spur of the moment let's hurry up and go Theo's other grandparents are coming at noon and we have like 45 minutes to go to the store, find a bathing suit and get back. So I will see all of you in just a few. All right, so it is about one o'clock. I'm getting a way late start on today's video. It is Sunday, so you guys will see this on Monday. I know I'm a day behind. That is because our company stayed last night until I think it was about 11, 11.30 when they left. And that's just too late for me to get a video up. So, um, we didn't go to bed until midnight. <laughs> and, um, so I just slept in today and just kind of behind the ball a little bit. Luke slept fabulous though. We actually made him get up at 12 after I got back from taking the girls for bathing suits. So, all right, here's what we're making. Fingers crossed that I can get it all done. Um, and then Tuesday, I will have a video up in the morning also, but then Wednesday, I should be back to normal, film that day, put up a video that day. So that's the plan anyway. All right, so today we're gonna make English muffin pizzas, get those ready and in the freezer, Cheerio chocolate peanut butter cups, cinnamon pinwheels, purple pikelets, breakfast sandwiches, no bake breakfast cheesecake, Nova Scotia oat cakes, my pizza sauce, I'm gonna go on and get that started first. Um, so I have that to make the English muffin pizzas. Um, peanut butter balls, which I will just make and I will link the recipe to the spaghetti sauce, the peanut butter balls down below because I've already made those and have recipes up on those. Um, and then a any fruit coffee cake, a chocolate peanut butter coffee cake and sheet pan pancakes. So lots of breakfast and snacky type. Um, that's so that all I gotta worry about is dinner. And as far as dinner goes and freezer meals and all of that, what I'm gonna start with for this week and then maybe do some freezer meals next week um, for meal prep is I'm going to just make big batches this week of dinner all, all week long and freeze a portion of it so that I have some in the freezer and we're gonna eat some. You guys have been telling me to do that forever, so I'm gonna take your advice and give it a go for this week. 
Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Let's get started. It's a busy day today. So while I'm doing all the cooking today, Charles is not, of course, doing nothing. Bright lights, always bright lights. Oh my word! Hi. My garage is soaked, and there is my husband. What have you done? I believe you're pressure washing our garage floor. Yeah, I got over some degrees first. Clean up, just make sure we don't have any new oil leaks or whatever from your car. It's just easier to find them with the floor cleaner. Yeah, very true. So, this is Garage Redo 101. Because I gotta get all that stuff we have downstairs now, upstairs. Because we moved the freezer down. The freezer went down. Yeah. Yep. So, plan is to just rework everything all the way around over the next couple days you can see this is a bit of a mess on this side uh, yeah that's because i pulled it all that way <laughs> yeah oh he'll have it perfect have no fear organization king we'll get it done all right time to go make the spaghetti sauce okay i already made the peanut butter balls they're in the freezer and i got spaghetti sauce going there and then in the oven real quick, I just put in some bacon and a pan of eggs. I've shown you guys how I do the eggs before and the bacon. So I was just throwing that in um, so that I can make up the breakfast sandwiches as soon as those are done. So next I wanna make the um, chocolate peanut butter Cheerio cups. So let's get that started. Okay, so first you're just going to start with some boiling water. Bring your water up to a boil and we're going to make our own double boiler. Then I just sprayed some silicone cups with some cooking spray and put a bowl over top of the water after it's done boiling and the steam will heat everything up and pour in chocolate chips and coconut oil. And then we're just gonna stir that up until it is all nice and melted. Once it's all nice and melted, we're going to add our Cheerios and then stir that up really good. And then we're gonna set that aside to cool and place another bowl on top of the water. If your water is too cool at this time, you can always return it to the stove and bring it back to a boil but mine worked just fine you can still see the steam and then to that I'm gonna add peanut butter all the measurements are listed down below in the description coconut oil brown rice syrup up until it is nice and melted. It took the coconut oil just a few minutes to melt, so just keep stirring until it's nice and smooth. And then you're going to add your Cheerios and stir that up and coat it and set it aside. Okay, so now we're gonna let those just come to a room temperature, keep stirring it, and just let it, like I said, it's supposed to come to room temperature. And then we're gonna put them by spoonfuls into our dish that we have here. And if you see my hair blowing, it's because my fabulous husband brought down the fan from our bedroom and put it blowing on me so that I don't get hot while I'm cooking all this wonderful food. All right, so we're gonna let those, like I said, come to room temperature. I'm gonna do just quick straighten up and then they should be ready to be finished and I need to check the bacon and the eggs. And then all you're gonna do is alternate spoons of chocolate and peanut butter. And then you just kind of bang your pan a little bit just to make sure it all settles down to the bottom and do that with all of your cups. Then that gets put in the refrigerator to set up. All 
Okay, so now that's going um, sit in the fridge until it firms up. And then the eggs and the bacon are done, so we're going to go on and assemble the sandwiches. So let's do that real quick. in a cage Hungry hearts in a rage Glowing eyes in a daze Turning around in a hurry Hoping you will come along I'm running as fast Okay, next we're gonna make the Nova Scotia oat cakes. Here's how you do it. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take some boiling water and you're gonna dissolve your baking soda in the boiling water and set that aside. And next you're going to add some old fashioned oats. And the sound of the falling snow The fireplace Flour. is warm and nice The VHS movie box Your old broke down tour Salt bus, and Not a single cloud in the sky If I could Melted go butter. back in time Brown sugar I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind and then add your water mixture. And then you're going to mix that until well blended and then mix it for three minutes more. Then you're going to add that to a baking dish lined with parchment paper. And then I wet my hands a little bit to make it spread easier. And you're going to spread that out. Okay, now it says that that goes into the um, fridge to kind of set up for about 15 minutes. Okay, and these little cups, Cheerio cups, are done. They're hardened. And look at that. Like, so cute. I'm going to give Ash a try and see what she thinks. Okay, Ash is going to try it. This is our chocolate peanut butter. No, open, take it out. It's like a, yes. And take a taste. That's good. I had a feeling they'd love those. Do the girls want one? They have to stay stored in the fridge though. These are good. They taste like um, Grandma Hazel's peanut butter fudge with chocolate. <laughs> it tastes like fudge with chocolate. It's a winner. And then all you want to do is just score it so that it is going to be easier to cut as soon as it is done baking and pop it in the oven. Shiny stars over us. Just a dream. Okay, here are the oat cakes after they come out of the oven. Hello everybody. Today is actually Monday and it's because life happens and I didn't get all the way through my meal prep that I was trying to get done yesterday. It's just part of life. As I showed you guys, things are just happening. So I want to get through it today and finish it off which means this is gonna go up later. Hopefully I'm gonna have it up by like six. It takes a while to edit these um, recipes. So we'll see how fast I can get it done. So I did make the chocolate peanut butter Cheerio cups. I did make the breakfast sandwiches. I did make the Nova Scotia oat cakes. I did make spaghetti sauce. I did make peanut butter balls. Um, so, Today, I need to assemble the um, English muffin pizzas. I'm gonna make the cinnamon pinwheels, which I didn't make yesterday either because I should have read 
first and I forgot to get out my puff pastry sheets. So those are out this morning. So once those are thawed and ready, then I can make the cinnamon pinwheels. Purple pikelets. I think that those are, they're really, I think kind of like pancakes for my Australian friends. Let me know. You think that's like a pancake here, but they're going to be a lot like the sheet pan pancakes that I make. So, um, I will make both though today. I'll also make an any fruit coffee cake and a chocolate peanut butter coffee cake. That is the plan for finishing up um, all the recipes and stuff for today. So I think we're going to go on and start with the any fruit coffee cake. So I am using a triple cherry blend. It's just frozen cherries that I got from Costco. You can use any kind of fruit that you like, but I decided to use cherries. And then you're going to add your water and bring that to a boil. Give it a good stir. And once it comes to a really good boil, then you're going to cover it, turn down the heat, and let it simmer for about five minutes. Then you're going to add a mixture of sugar and cornstarch and you're going to stir it up really good to make sure that there are no lumps and keep stirring until it starts to thicken. Once it's good and thick, you're just going to keep stirring and let it cook for about two minutes more. Then we're going to set that aside. And in a bowl, we're going to add our ingredients for the cake. This also calls for buttermilk. If you do not have buttermilk like I did, then you can make your own by just adding a little bit of vinegar to your milk and letting it sit. So I just made that right before I did the cherries so it had plenty of time to turn into sour milk. And then you're going to add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients. And you only want to stir until good and moist. I felt that it was still a little bit dry, so I added a little bit more milk than what the recipe called for. And I lined my pan with foil so that it will be easier to get out to the coffee cake. And then you're going to use half the batter, but honestly, I used a little bit more than half. You want to cover the bottom with the batter. Then you're going to top it with your fruit. And then you're going to spoon the remaining batter over the top. Set that aside and we're going to make our crumb topping. For that it was just sugar, flour, and butter. And I just cut it in with a fork until it was nice and crumbly to mix together. Then you just sprinkle that on top of your coffee cake and pop it in the oven.
Okay guys, so now that that one's in the oven, next we're gonna go on and make the chocolate peanut butter coffee cake. That's number two this morning. Let's get it started on that. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to make the topping. As you can see, I needed a bigger bowl, so I dump it all into a different bowl. I wanna jump around when I think about yesterday. And you're just gonna mash the topping with a fork so until it is nice and crumbly. My, oh my. And then As set it aside. Now I'm embarrassed, but just a little bit. Oh, there must be gold on those leaves and honey on those fingertips. And now we're going to go on and start on the cake. I do have all the ingredients listed down below in the description box. Okay, so now those are out of the oven. I'll show you what they look like real quick. And we're gonna make the cinnamon um, pinwheels next. So here is the um, berry cherry coffee cake and the peanut butter and chocolate coffee cake. So there's both of those. Now let's make the cinnamon pinwheels. Is there a place with sun all year round and pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground? I want to stop this ongoing train before I lose my mind and go insane. I don't want to sleep every night. I want a lot of spark in the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place For another place oh. Maybe I'll win Difference. It's hard at this speed to see anything. Just tell me what you need, and I'll listen. I'll listen. Okay, now while those are baking in the oven, we're going to go on and make the sheet pan pancakes so that those can also get into the oven. So all you want to do for this is make your favorite pancake recipe and then you just spread it out on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And then I top mine with some berries and you just pop it in the oven 
and bake it until it is golden brown. I did flip mine halfway through, but it is not necessary. I have a taste tester for the peanut butter coffee cake and the cherry coffee cake. Charles said it was fabulous. Theo, is it good? Is it delicious? Uh-oh. I think you're eating an awful lot of it. And the girls, what did you guys think? Which one was your favorite, the peanut butter or the berry? Peanut butter. Um, it's Thai. Thai. All right, and now I'm gonna pop these two pans of English muffin pizzas in the oven. Okay, and here is the sheet pan of the um, pancakes. And this is what the cinnamon roll kind of things look like. Cinnamon pinwheels. Okay, so here is all the meal prep is done. This is what all was made. So bacon, egg, and cheese um, muffins. One was already given to Charles for breakfast. Some peanut butter balls. The kids will munch on those nonstop. They love them. The Cheerio snack bites. These need to be kept in the fridge because they do kind of melt when you eat them. Um, so they would melt at room temperature, but oh my goodness, the kids are begging me to make them every week. They love them. This is our sheet pan pancakes. They turned out fabulous. Look at the berries in them. Turned out fabulous. I did flip it like halfway through. It says it would have cooked all by itself, but just to be sure, I kind of flipped it. Uh, let's see, the purple pikelets. We have not tried those yet, and um, I will let you guys know as soon as we try those. They did, of course, already try the coffee cake, and you can see in here the layer of the cherry goodness. Everybody loves it, says it's absolutely fabulous. They, of course, have already dug into the chocolate and peanut butter one, said it tastes just like a Reese cupcake. They absolutely loved it. These are the oat bars. And everybody did love those too. There's still plenty of those left. Spaghetti sauce. I did use half of this container already for the um, English muffin pizzas. And then the rest are, we are having ch um, chicken and eggplant parmesan this week. And then we're also having stuffed shell, or this month. And we're also having stuffed shells. So that is what I needed all the sauce for. And we're having homemade pizza. The um, pinwheels, we have not tried them yet, but I'm sure that they are fabulous. The one missing, because they were gonna try it, it was like a little end piece, but there was no cinnamon or sugar or anything, so I'm sure it tastes totally different with all of that. And then the two sheet pans of English muffin pizzas. And I will pop those in the freezer. I'm actually probably gonna make another set of sheet pans of those, because I still have two more um, packages of English muffins. But this is our meal prep for this week. All right, I'm gonna go on and wrap this up and get it up for you guys. Don't forget tomorrow is two for Tuesday and Tiffany and I are both making dump cakes so you don't wanna miss it. And Wednesday night, we're gonna try and go live, Charles and I, so stay tuned for that around eight o'clock our time. And yeah. That's it, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these wonderful recipes and the um, you know, meal prep video. Let me know if you want me to continue with these weekly by giving a big thumbs up. I'll see all of you tomorrow. Bye everybody.